Well, hello everyone. Today I'm sharing eight ways your clothes and mine are looking cheap. Yes, cheap. I hope this video goes okay. I will link the last one that I did like this right up here, completely different points. Um, but you guys seem to really enjoy it and I've since come up with even more ways that our clothes are looking cheap. So I thought I would just bestow my thoughts upon you. We're starting with this one. Yeah, and, I, and this one, I actually ordered specifically for this video because it is that bad. It still has the tags, it's, it's going back. But this has five star reviews and normally I'm obsessed with reviews. I really rely upon them. I'll order things based on the reviews, but. I I don't know what's going on here. This has so many textures and patterns and colors. So that's the first thing you wanna look out for. If there's just too much going on in a top or a shirt or a piece of clothing, I think it can look cheap. So we've got lace here, we've got leopard print ruffles, we've got different textures and colors and like it is just, no. Number two is really interesting to me and it might be a detail you may have never noticed before, but it has to do with a bad inside lining of like a jacket or a coat or a cardigan. Basically a piece of clothing where you're gonna kind of see the outside and the inside, which makes no sense. So just hear me out. So here is a photo of a cardigan jacket that I recently ordered. I loved it. I loved the color of it. Uh, so I ordered it, but <laughs> this is what I actually got. I don't know if you see the difference or not, but the outside is a beautiful rich color, but the inside is this cheap faded inside. It's really thin. You can see the, you know, the stitching along the sides and this is meant to kind of see like the inside and the outside. It's like a waterfall opening, but it looks completely different than this one where if you notice the inside and the outside are like the same color, which makes it look more expensive. And what's interesting is they are clearly using this photo because they know it looks better. Uh, they're kind of cutting corners when they actually produce the shirt and they don't line it properly. So it looks cheap. This next way that your clothes and my clothes are looking cheap, uh, have to do with weird color tones being mixed together when they shouldn't be mixed together. It just looks cheap. So let me sh first show you a shirt that I do really like and it caused me to order more. Uh, this white blouse, like I love this blouse. I, I feel like it looks so good on every body type. I love it tucked in, it's flattering. I love it untucked, it's flattering and flowy and just great. So I ended up ordering it in even more colors and patterns. So I got it in this, which is crazy bright and vibrant, but I, I, I don't know, like I really liked it, but there was just something bothering me about it. And then it hit me that I know on camera, this looks just vibrant in every way, but in real life, uh, there are very muted tones. Like there's muted blues and muted pinks and like really light pastel colors, but it's up against vibrant neon highlighter yellow. You know, it just like, it doesn't mix well together. And I just think it's another element of something looking cheap. Before we move on, I just wanna show you an example of good color tones. So this particular floral blouse, I've also had for years and I still reach for it. I love it. It's again, a floral pattern, but this time the colors are extremely complementing. Not, not only are blue and orange actually complementing colors on the color wheel, but they're all in the same muted family. And so it looks more cohesive and it looks more expensive. This next one might come across a little harsh, but I'm gonna own it. Like I, I feel like people tell me that I apologize too much. So yeah, I'm gonna stick with this. I've talked about this before, but in that case it was being out of style, but I'm, I still agree with myself on that. I still think this is out of style. However, I think it also looks cheap when you wear this. And that is cold shoulder tops. I still do not understand the point of them. I don't think that they look good at all. Um, I, I just, I don't like them. I'm sorry. Oh, no, I'm not sorry. If your shoulder is feeling cold, it could also be looking cheap. Okay, so this next one, I actually don't have an example of because I have donated or returned sweaters that are see-through. Now, I realize there are certain tops and blouses that are meant to be see-through. They're very thin material, it's just kind of the style. I still don't think it looks that great sometimes. I feel like thin material can come across as cheap, but sweaters are a whole different ball game. To me, they are meant to be thick and warm and soft, and if you have to worry about what undergarments you're wearing, there's a good chance it looks cheap. Oh, while we are talking about sweaters, another way that you can look really cheap is if you wear like a nice sweater sweater on top, but then sweatpants on the bottom. And you know, I've even heard of, of, you know, like some YouTubers filming videos where they look really nice on top, but they're wearing sweatpants on the bottom. 
So this next one might come as a surprise to you, but it kind of came as a surprise to me. I just started noticing it and it has to do with shirts having weird twists in an awkward spot, mainly in the front. So I'm going to insert an example here, an example here, and another example here. And I don't know if you notice, just like the front is very accentuated, but like in a really awkwardly bad way. I think that twists in shirts can be really good if it's going to flatter you, maybe more to the side. It kind of accentuates your waist and it just flatters you better. But in the very front, it's the worst spot. It makes you look lumpy and frumpy and just not good. So I feel like this is like a little lazy way that brands are trying to add an element of design to the shirt, but it just comes across as cheap. Snags on sweaters or tops can also make them look cheap. I have been recording this little section over and over and over again because I can't get my words out. And it's just funny, I keep saying the word snags. And then you start analyzing words. Don't you think the word snags snag? It's like, a, it's a weird word, but anyway, you know what I mean when like there's like a, a snag on a shirt. Um, so this one doesn't have any snags and I feel like it looks really good. If, if I got one here, it would instantly make the shirt look a lot cheaper. Likewise, this one, I love this sweater. It feels nice and thick. I love the colors. I wore it for like a week straight and I was taking it off my head. I don't know if it got caught on an earring. I have no idea what happened, but I got a snag on it and it's still there. It's probably not coming up on camera, but it's okay. I have a snag pool. Pooler, pull, pooler that will come through the back and fix the snag. And I think it will, it'll, it'll be all good, it'll be good to go. But it's just interesting how that little change can just instantly make it look cheap. Okay, so this next example is purely preference. It's just something I take into consideration when I buy jeans. And it has to do with very, very light colored stitching. More specifically when I'm buying dark jeans. So if the dark jeans have very light stitching across the butt, down the leg, across your waist, to me, that looks more cheap than if the stitching was the same color. It just, when it's the same color, I feel like the brand or the company or whatever, the designer put more thought into it looking cohesive and expensive and just like a better pair of jeans. So with that, that is everything. I hope you enjoyed it. Consider subscribing or following if you happen to be new, but thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye.